Hello and welcome back to another video in this scene editor for Mountain Blade Bannerlord. Today I'm going to show you how you test your map in custom battles. And this map is just a normal terrain battle map. So if you want to test a siege map or a village map, it will be somewhat similar, but uh, keep in mind that you should watch the previous video about spawn points, flea lines and so forth because that's uh, very important uh, for testing. But you could of course uh, just uh, use your village map or castle map or whatever you have and uh, test it out in the normal uh, battle terrain map if you want. Alright, so let's get started. First off you need to save your map the right place so you just say save scene as and uh, what should we call this map we could call it uh, Ildera we need to name it something not really important actually and uh, where you have to save it you should save it in sandbox core so hit that and say OK and uh, now it's saved in the right place the next step is to locate your map so if you use the steam version of uh, mountain blade banner Lord, go into the right folder and modules and you will see that there is a sandbox core go into that and you go into scene object now there are two ways that you can actually add your map to custom battles so I'm going to show you both first locate your your map Eldera and you can just copy all this control C and you go out and you just find the battle terrain 001 this is the first map that it will suggest in custom battles so it's super easy to just replace this with your own map just like that and uh, you can actually open up the custom battles right now and uh, test the map if you want but I will also show you how you do it without replacing uh, an existing map so what you have to do is you go back go back to modules you go into this custom battle and you go into module data and you can see there's a custom battle scenes now click on this and say edit with I use uh, notepad plus plus if you have a, another program you can use that um, I like this it's free all right so we go into our uh, custom battle scenes XML and you just scroll down to you can see that there are different types now this is a battle terrain so just go down to the last one this one is uh, one I have added so you won't see this in your file all you have to do is you copy this and uh, paste it in like that all right so this ID is the name of your map now you could just write the name of your map Eldera but um, if it's a very long name you might want to copy the folder name just like that now that's the ID for the, your map but perhaps you want it spelled differently so it could be Hildera Forest and uh, we don't want it to be called plain so something like that and there are different types of uh, terrain you can uh, scroll up and find some different types if you want but uh, I think plain is alright for this one 
So all you have to do is hit save. And now we should be able to find the map in custom battles. Alright, I have opened up the game now. And we should be able to find our map both as the Battle Terrain uh, 001 and also as the Dera. So we open up custom battles. And uh, if you select this one, it should be our map. If we scroll down, you can also see our map here. You'll notice that it's called the Dera Forest and not just the so let's try and see if the first one works. Let's just try human from different factions, something like that. We haven't covered uh, seasons yet, so make sure it's uh, summer. But I will cover the other seasons uh, eventually. And we need to be perfect. We're inside our map now, and you can see we have all our units with us, and you can of course Put control them. Forward, archers move, cavalry forward, horse on move. Something like that. I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, and as you can see, despite how plain and flat it looked in the editor, there are still some uh, high differences in the map, so it can be hard to see where the enemy is. You can see that they are moving now. Alright, I think we should try and see uh, if it works with the Eldera Forest as well. So let's go out and we try to find Hildira Forest, just like that. Perhaps it should be a bigger battle. Something like this. I think that's fine. And uh, let's try and see if uh, we can win this battle. We are back at our map and it looks pretty much like before. You can see that the cavalry looks uh, a little weird when there are so many, but uh, wherever you are them, they should uh, line up perfectly. I'm not sure if that uh, has to do anything with the editor, or just uh, some minor bug with the placement of the arrows and uh, spawn path. Alright, let's try and uh, see if we can uh, destroy the enemy. So we do Horse follow me! Horsemen, forward! Infantry, move! Archers, move! Like it's going to be a pretty big, big battle. Let's see if we can actually win. Now I haven't covered the tactical positions and tactical regions yet, but I will try and cover it in a, a future video. I feel there are some things about it that I don't know much about yet, so I hope Worlds will make some new uh, documentation about it so we can uh, know a little more. Um, if you are testing your map and the AI is uh, acting a little weird, it might be because your map mesh is uh, not done very well. Um, so if you have made an auto generated one, they might try to write. Uh, over the rocks or perhaps there are areas that they don't want to go to 
and it might has, uh, have something to do that the nav mesh is uh, either below or uh, too far uh, above the ground. Order forward! changes to your map uh, please make sure that your nav mesh is also edited otherwise it could uh, cause problems like I have uh, explained in uh, previous videos and also uh, a little in this one we won! Yeah! <laughs> anyway Thanks for watching, remember to like and subscribe, and uh, I will see you in the next video. Bye!